Luke, I am your endurance guru. If you had worked on your cardiorespiratory fitness, you could have ran away from Obi-Wan Kenobi and not had your legs burned off in hot magma. Good morning, my endurance friends. Matt Mossman, Chief Endurance Officer at Endurelite, the maker of premium supplements for endurance athletes and endurance training and supplement expert. Hey, I just got back to the gym as it's very obvious I have my official bodybuilding.com t-shirt on and my swollen physique, but I was in the gym and I saw this bro who looked like Bane from uh, the Batman movie wearing this, uh, one of those training masks that basically makes you uh, not breathe. And I went up to him and I was like, what's that for, bro? And he responded something to the effects of, when the air is restrained, I make my gains. And I raise my finger to object. And then I just realize I am way too old to deal with all this pseudoscience malarkey. But this led me to think of three things. One, friends don't let friends do stupid stuff like that. I mean, if I ever see any of you wearing a training mask, I will hunt you down and I will slay you with science as to everything that is wrong with that. Second, it made me think, hey, I might be able to capitalize on this, uh, this whole training mask thing. And I'm going to do it and call it uh, the Star Wars starvation method and basically it's going to harness the power of the force to uh, raise the midichlorian levels so you can just keep on running or biking um, basically forever but that's not the point of this uh, video today uh, in a roundabout way it kind of is because we're going to talk about uh, vo2 max and some other uh, things you may have heard about as it relates to endurance performance so what i'm going to call these is the three gold standards of endurance performance and the biggest predictors of endurance performance success so today real briefly we're going to talk about vo2 max we're going to talk about lactate threshold and we're gonna talk about maximal lactate steady state. Uh, we'll briefly describe which, uh, what each one is, um, basically how it's measured, and then we'll uh, uh, basically tell you how to improve it. So let's just get this kicked off. Um, let's start with VO2 max. So by strict definition, VO2 max is the greatest amount of oxygen on the cellular level that can be used by the entire body. <laughs> Say what? Uh, yeah, that makes no sense. Basically what it is, it's how efficiently um, your body can use oxygen to a fuel muscular contractions to help you keep on going when you're running, biking, um, you know, swimming, whatever. Now, typical range of VO2 max in people from an on-fit visual, an on-fit individual up to the ultra elite can range anywhere from like, 30 to 90. I think the highest uh, level ever recorded was in some Norwegian skier named Schwen who had a VO2 max of 92. And uh, the differences in VO2 max can be attributed to uh, capillary density, mitochondrial density, um, and to some extent, um, genetics. Now, in the past, VO2 max was considered, uh, you know, the upper echelon of, you know, how good of an endurance athlete you're going to be. And it still plays a huge part into, you know, how well you're going to perform. Um, but the next two things we're going to talk about after VO2 max may be even more important. So the question um, you probably want to know is how do you test it? Uh, the best way to test VO2 max is to actually go in a lab and be hooked up to a metabolic cart where it can measure uh, basically the exchange of gases, um, oxygen and CO2, and that'll spit out a number. So you can do that. Um, there's other calculators out there that will predict it for you, but not nearly as accurate. <laughs> So uh, what you really, really want to know is how do you improve VO2 max? Uh, the best way to improve VO2 max is through the use of interval training. And interval training should be done at about 90% uh, of higher of VO2 max or maximum heart rate. And you want the efforts to be about three to five minutes uh, with a one-to-one -one work to rest ratio. So that means if you do a five minute interval, you're resting five minutes before you do um, the other one. So that's VO2 max. 
Uh, the next important variable and a good predictor of endurance performance is lactate threshold. Now what lactate threshold is, is that percentage of VO2 max or the speed uh, of movement, like you know how fast you're running or how fast you're riding. Um, so percentage of VO2 max or the speed of movement in which blood lactate concentrations in the body begin to rise above uh, normal. So uh, lactate and lactic acid really aren't the same thing, and we'll go into that in a different video, but lactic acid isn't really what causes that fatigue. It's kind of the breakdown of the byproducts um, and then hydrogen ion accumulation that, um, that leads to that. So with lactate threshold, the way you measure that, um, and it's, it's not the most pleasant method, is you actually go into a lab again and you do a graded exercise test. So you can imagine running on a treadmill and the intensity keeps on getting higher and higher and higher. And then at certain points uh, throughout the test, um, you know, somebody's gonna prick your finger or, or take some blood out of you, and then they'll measure the lactate concentrations. And then um, they can determine your lactate threshold from there. Uh, if you don't want to go to a lab and have blood drawn, I mean, that's pretty intense. I, I wouldn't do it. Um, lactate threshold, you know, generally occurs at about 80 to 88 percent of your VO2 max or maximum heart rate. So you can kind of get a, a pretty good idea of, you know, what your lactate threshold is. Now, the best way to improve it is through, uh, well, threshold training. And what threshold training is, is basically, you know, you like say if we're talking about running, you go out, you warm up for 10 minutes, and then you run for, you know, 20 to 30 minutes at your lactate threshold. So about that 80 to 80, 88% of maximum heart rate or VO2 max. Um, so that's kind of the way you train to raise your lactate threshold and deal with those blood lactate concentrations in your body. Um, biking, kind of the same deal, 10 minute warm up, um, probably a bit more prolonged uh, effort at lactate threshold, anywhere from 40 uh, minutes to an hour. The last variable um, we're gonna talk about, so we have VO2 max and lactate threshold so far, is maximal lactate steady state. Uh, this is pretty similar to lactate threshold, but just a little bit different. And most researchers think this is the biggest like indicator of how successful you're going to be as, as an endurance athlete, even more important than VO2 max in lactate threshold. And what maximal lactate steady state is, is basically when accumulation of the lactate in the blood equals the clearance. So you're never really building up that lactate because what's being produced is automatically being basically uh, shuttled out. So you're not going to get that feeling of fatigue. All things considered, between all those, uh, obviously VO2 max is important, but the more successful endurance athlete will not only have a good VO2 max, um, they'll also have a good maximal lactate steady state or lactate threshold. So if you're comparing two you know, guys side by side who have the exact same VO2 max, um, more than likely uh, the guy with the higher lactate threshold or maximal lactate steady state um, will be more successful. Um, with the maximal lactate steady state too, it's basically you know, the same training as lactate threshold training. So not much difference there. It just basically has to deal with you know that point where you can have that blood lactate level in your blood really elevated, but your body's clearing it very efficiently. Um, so that's about it for today. Um, if you like this video, share it with your friends. If you want more endurance-related content, I highly recommend you check out the Endure Elite website, www.endureelite.com, E-N-D-U-R-E-L-I-T-E. Dot com. And until next time, stay fueled, stay focused, stay fast, and may the force be with you.